This is one we've worked many of. How many seconds in a century? Similar ones. So we know the units of our answer are seconds. And the only place we have to start really is 1.0 centuries. So this is going to limit our sig figs. That's the only thing we have that's measured. We know we're going to have two. So let's start chugging. We know that one century is 100 years. I want to knock this down into something smaller. Century cancels. Now we go from years to days because that's better than months. So we can say one year is 365 days. We'll ignore leap years for this moment. One day is 24 hours. One hour, 60 minutes. Here we are. Oh, last one. One minute, 60 seconds. And we've done a lot of these. So years cancel, days cancel, hours cancel, minutes cancel, seconds, seconds. And that's all ones across the bottom, so that makes it a fairly simple calculation. Don't have to worry about the denominator. So we have 1.0 times 100 times 365 times 24 times 60 times 60 equals divided by blah, 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 blah. So it's a big number because we expect some 100 years is going to have a lot of seconds. So let's convert this to scientific notation. Let's see, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I know it's 3.154 times 10 to the 9th seconds, but how many sig figs? You can only keep 2. So it's going to be 3.2 times 10 to the 9th seconds. Bingo! And we can put our calculator in scientific notation mode. Let's see. Can I do it? Where is it on this calculator? Engineering. So that one's going to be two. So there it is. Okay. We just need two sig figs. Alrighty. There you have it.